Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and hello from Riga in Latvia. In this video I'm going to be covering all of the things to do in this magnificent city and I have a lot to get through. So I'm not going to hang about, it's going to be very fast paced, so let's crack on. But of course if you're new here please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the notification so you don't miss the next video and give this one a like if you're enjoying it. The next few recommendations I suggest you do as part of a tour because you just cannot appreciate the history of Riga and Latvia without a tour guide and somebody that really knows their stuff. However, if you're not going to do it as part of a tour, start at Freedom Monument. That was built just after the First World War to celebrate Latvia's independence. And right there you have the National Opera House. Latvia is very famous for its opera singers and Bastion Hill, which is the beautiful romantic park and the canal. And effectively that separates the old and the new part of Riga. Next up you of course have to walk around the old town. You're going to do this a lot. You're probably staying in the old town. But for sure you've got to go and see the three brothers, learn about that whole area and the 800 years of history, the churches, the cathedrals, head to Dome Square where you've got the National Radio House and the Riga Stock Exchange. You've also got the museums, the Foreign Art Museum, which was the Riga Stock Exchange. <laughs> definitely recommend you pop into Black Magic where Black Balsam was created. It used to be a pharmacy. That incredible liquor which I actually really like. It's supposed to be um, medicinal. If you are in the old town I definitely recommend a stop here at Black Magic. So I've been told this used to be a pharmacy and it was where Black Balsam was invented and created I don't know hundreds of years ago. Definitely stop in there. And another one now for the old town, that's to come to Livu Square and spot this black cat, which was originally put there at a man's disdain for not getting in the guild in the 14th century because its ass was facing the guild. Eventually they reached an agreement, spun the cat around and he made it in. There's a nice little history story for you. <laughs> Now I'm up here, one thing I can say you definitely cannot miss is the view from St Peter's Church. Panoramic, amazing views of Riga. Next up is Riga Central Market. This place is huge and sells everything from fruits, vegetables, fish, meat and flowers. Now a fun fact for you, if you're going to give a girl flowers in Latvia, make sure it's an odd number. Even numbers are only for funerals, odd numbers are for happy occasions. This place is open between 8 and around about 5pm so make sure you get here before it closes. Riga is a very walkable city. However, if you want a fun way to get around and you need to go from one end of the city to another, why not ride the tram? Try and pick one of these old ones because five, ten years time they just might not exist anymore. One stop which you can do, I guess either on a tour or just come here yourself, is the Art Nabal district which means a new facade. It was actually like a protest to the industrialism when it came here to Latvia. I believe it started in London or England so they say, then went over to Paris, it's also in Venice and then now look at this beautiful buildings like this in this huge area of Riga. I mean there's way too many to see in one here. It is massive. This one's a quick tip for you because you can't film inside but that is the Orthodox Cathedral and that is impressive inside. What a beautiful building inside and out. Like I said you can't film inside. Just gonna have to go and see for yourself. It's also been recommended to me that you check out the National Library of Latvia. Now I don't need any books but just coming inside and seeing this beautiful building and the sculptures outside, very impressive. So to get to the library you'll need to cross the river and effectively that is my next tip because you cannot get 
a better view of the old town than right here. So go for a nice little walk. Last time I came here, I actually came on a run at sunset and that was beautiful. The way the light hits the building and I believe it's good for sunrise because the sun will rise somewhere over there. But other than that, I mean, just look at this view. Also happens to be on the way to our next place. My next stop and my next thing to do is Kipsar. Look at that as its own private beach. It's an island across the river. So also great views over Riga and over the bridge. Got these cute little houses. Yeah, nice little stop. Definitely if you're on a bike tour or you've got a scooter or you're heading this way anyway, have a little stop and kip up. One great way to get around Riga is to get a Bolt scooter. 20 cents an hour, easy to grab hold of through the Bolt app. Just be a little bit careful because the accelerator is pretty quick. Filming and riding is not recommended. <laughs> no visit to Riga or even Latvia in general would be complete without doing some bog walking. This is the Chemery bog. And my guide Krista been fantastic, showing me around, keeping me safe. I've got these lovely boots and, uh, what would you call these shoes? Bog shoes. Just bog shoes. Got my bog shoes on to make sure I don't go in. Loads of fun. So the next thing on the list for Riga is a sunset kayak. We are currently on the canal. The sun isn't setting yet, but it will be later down there. But look who has joined me on this kayak. What's up? How long has it been? Six years? Six years. I haven't seen her in six years. I know. It's we're both crazy. in Riga to get a kayak in. On the What's canal. up, Traverse people? At her, at her romantic spot, I understand. It is my romantic spot, She's yes. Marge's date where, spot. Where I bring all my boyfriends <laughs> and then I drown them in the canal. Because I'm a witch. Last Thank language. God we're not on a date. But <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently this is the Baltic's largest graffiti piece and it's two of Latvia's most renowned graffiti artists and it is pretty incredible. That's massive. A little bit out of town but I've got my bolt scooter. <laughs> All right, my next spot that falls under the food and drink radar is Talinisk Vartals. No way I'm pronouncing that right, but it is these listed old buildings. It was a community project to let a bunch of artistic people take on these old buildings and start effectively a community. Uh, a place to drink, a place to hang out live music, There's also some street food and some beer. What more could you want? For my brewery recommendation, I recommend here La Bietas. I came here five years ago and had an awesome couple of beers here. I really like the style they have these. They go foraging for juniper berries and turn that into a red ale. Uh, and every year apparently they go foraging in the local forest to create their new batch of beers. And it just happens to be around the corner from the last artistic recommendation that I had to. So I haven't found a ton of amazing food places, but just down here is the hedgehog place I was talking about the other day. All right, I've come to my first restaurant recommendation, which is Bagnichas Zitas Migla. It's not how you pronounce it in the slightest, but if you look for the hedgehog place or ask for the hedgehog place, I'll also pop it in the description below. It's actually a vegan restaurant there. So because the vegan place was closed, I ended up going in here, St. Black, which had live rock music. It says a rock cafe urban stage. That was pretty decent and I had a poke bowl, which was really good and good value as well. So now I have a new recommendation. No one suggested it to me. That is some black. Mm -hmm. 
also for the best sunset and potentially the best views of Riga. I've come to the Skyline Bar. The sun has just set behind me now. I'm not entirely sure why this room hasn't been open to the public when this is the best view. As in this small room was actually shut when I got it, but anyway. A lovely cocktail. Now this is the official cocktail of Riga and it includes the black balsam that we've talked about in the previous video and a little bit in this video but it is bloody lovely. Definitely recommend you come up here grab a cocktail when you come to Riga. Just a couple more bars to know. I actually quite like this Aussie backpacker bar just over here. You've got two beers also, which was next to the Rickswell. They've got this big spinny wheel thing to help you choose your beer. And then you've got the rock bar with its five different bars, the karaoke and the dance floor. And they also like the armory. So there's a few suggestions, but honestly, you cannot go wrong just walking around the old town, seeing what you fancy, finding your own little hidden gem. There's a lot of tiny little bars to discover in Riga, so go explore. Something I didn't get to do too much of in Riga, unfortunately, was check out the museums. I did go inside the Art Naval Museum and I had a quick look at the Foreign Art Museum, which is right there in the center. And from the outside, the Occupation Museum, I would have loved to have had a look inside there. And highly recommended was the Motor Museum and the Riga History Museum. So go check all of those ones out. When it comes to the hotels, I stayed in two places in the Old Town. And honestly, anywhere in and around the Old Town, it's so walkable, so safe. So anywhere in this area, would be perfect. I stayed at the Rixwell Conventor Set of Design Hotel and then the Welton Centrum Hotel and Spa. Now there are two things I want to say about both these hotels. At the Rixwell Conventor you are above a bar and on a very busy and noisy street and there's one thing to be said when they give you earplugs that normally means it's going to be a little bit loud. So as long as you're happy with that I really enjoyed my stay there and the breakfast was great too. Then when it comes to the Welton Centrum the thing you need to keep in mind here is only the superior rooms give you access to the spa now for me I booked it because of the spa and on booking.com that was not clear it made it look like that was included but it was 18 euros extra so the rooms have been comfortable very quiet very centrally located but a little bit disappointed with my stay here so there you have my things to do in Riga Latvia I hope you've been enjoying it don't forget to comment any extras anything that you think I've missed anything that you recommend your favorite bars your favorite restaurants stick them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe hit the notification so you don't miss the next video and of course thanks for watching and happy travels